pro I had this at Bristol a few years ago. I had to come around a guy, and then that guy came around me, and then another guy came around that guy. Yeah, it, it could suck. It's an exciting race here. It's so much nicer than last year at this oh time. Oh my god, was last year? Uh, no, no, but last we didn't year the chase. we were That's in the right, bubble, yeah. and we had to finish, let's say, four spots in front of one of the Red Bull yeah. drivers, and we finished two in front, so we yeah. missed the chase by eight points. Eight uh, points, it was devastating. It was um, just wasn't our year, just wasn't, um, wasn't meant to be for some reason, you know, the good Lord upstairs put me in this predicament for a reason, and uh, one of these days I'll, I'll be able to figure that out and tell you what it is. A good one tonight. A lot on the line for a lot of drivers. All right, bud, coming to the green, 400 laps. Have a good night. The final race before the chase. Cameras going off everywhere. Here they come off turn number four, looking for the green flag. The leader is gone. Green, green. Off they go, heading into turn number one. Carl Edwards gets a good jump at the bottom of the racetrack. Show there ahead of him, the 29, really struggling right there on it. This is 23rd, 24th, and 25th. Wasn't this the best three cars in the spring race right here? Us, the 24 to 29. Yeah, I don't know what went on right there. If he had to get out of the throttle or whether he brake check Jeff or what happened there. Where's the 11 on it? See on the bottom. Hamlin now takes over the spot. So he's going to lead on lap 111. Something's got a little something different in air pressure, but I'm going to go that way. So air pressure change only. I wonder what this does. He started 32nd tonight. So they went closer to the setups of the 11. You know how well Hamlin's running. He's leading. Kyle Busch making his way up through the field. He's the biggest mover so far tonight. They haven't noticed the kind of work. 32 laps to go. It has taken him all night long to get this close. Boy, when Kyle Busch can see the lead that close, he's a fairly dangerous man. Here comes Kyle, a dive in the corner. He's just diving down in the corner, really using the brakes to his advantage. You can catch Denny Hamlin, but can you get around him and take the spot away? Right now, it doesn't look like Kyle Busch is going to be able to do it. I blew the rear tires off four laps ago. Here's Denny Hamlin, six car lengths, the advantage over Kyle Busch. Denny Hamlin gets the victory in the Air Guard 400. Kyle Busch will come in second. Nice job, Dave. That's the way to build it back from practice, bud. Good job. You too, bud. Zero from 30 seconds to second, man. Good job. Good job, guys. Thank you. It's awesome, uh, obviously, to be able to be back in the chase and be where we belong. I mean, I mean, we missed it last year by a mere eight points. We were in solidly this year, which meant a lot. This year being in it, it's our whole season, so we're ready to chase for a championship. Man, I was close. I, I had a shot to dive bomb him one time with about 20 to go, and I was like, ah. no, I can't. Because I would have doored him, and it would have been ugly. So I don't know if he understands the point, but there was kind of a point there at the end of the race that I was trying to get across. It's how you're supposed to race. This race meant nothing. It was like an all-star race. You know? Oh, he put a block he on him in the wall. He put him in the wall. Somebody better keep me away from Denny Hamlin after this race. That's all his motherfucking fault. I had this race one. It was one. Just so it's in your head. If you get him, just get him off to one side someplace. Just talk to him a little bit. It's hard for me to get anything through to him sometimes. No, but I mean, hey, try. Hey, thank you, too. You got it, man. Hell yeah, man. Why'd they put the fat guys next to each other? <laughs> That's why they put you and I together. The thin guy with the. Well, at least it makes me look skinnier. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you fought it out all night. Where'd you end up? Okay. Stepping it out, boy. 
every year. <laughs> was, that a, was that $100 more in the budget to do it? They spend more money so they don't have to pay us as much. That's 200 There's a little more behind that one. There's some party poopers over there. I don't need any m and You keep them for you. I get all the ones I need, man. I appreciate it. I'll sign the bag for you. How about that? I don't need any more m ms Trust me. Okay. <laughs> we get we get plenty. <laughs> there you go, bro. There you go. All right. Thanks for right. You're an awesome, guys. dude. Thanks. Good luck in the chase. I'm more tired now after Richmond than I am typically any other place because Richmond just takes so much out of you to run good. It's not it's not an easy racetrack. It is such a finesse racetrack that you're always busy thinking, doing something. That's cool. 1800 just poured me a shot. What can your top do? Nothing. 1800 tequila. Change the game. Papa's in the house. It's got to be the biggest house I've ever delivered to. Papa John's and the NFL are teaming up. It's big action and better pizza. Y'all watching the game? Good. Come on, 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 on NFL game days, get more with Papa John's free topping football. Buy an extra large cheese pizza at regular menu price and get all your favorite toppings free. More toppings, more flavor, free. They like the fact that dough is never frozen. It's always fresh. Order now at PapaJohns.com. Better ingredients, better pizza. The official pizza of your NFL game day. basement you know this is just kind of man's land this is what I like to do this is you know fun area for me to play in and uh, have a good time in Matt's trying to figure out how to turn my games on all right I'll play it a game here Ooh, all my games are going bad they must be getting old this reminds me of my off-road truck debut at Chicagoland Speedway oh we're, we're both backwards oh. Ah, oh, I did it again. I'm gonna take, if you weren't in my way, oh, I just went by you. I could get there. Third's All right, good average. so anyway. Third's a good average. It's good to have friends uh, that, that are race car drivers because you get to spend time with them. They know what you go through. Of course, you know, Matt uh, being in the truck series and racing against him all the time, you know, it's a, it's a little more uh, lower key, but they have a big sense and a, a really good idea of what we go through. Ice cream is like a workout. Is that big enough for me or do you want another scoop? Start dumping some stuff in his. This one. The Cold Stone Creamery was, uh, <laughs> that was a Christmas present from Samantha that she hid from me pretty well. Dude, that's all you want? Yeah. Okay. Just pound them. Got it. Right. Break them up. Not no, you can't break them up. Break the pretzels. Yeah, you can. You know, we can spend some time and, and make some ice cream. And, you know, most of the time, I'll admit, she makes it for me. I got it. Okay. I got it. Oh, that was genius. Now yeah, you're doing like this. Clean it there up. Oh, see, she's smart. <laughs> and, and she'll make herself some. Sometimes I'll be down hey. here and I'll help her and, uh, you know, we'll do it together. <laughs> you're a disaster. <laughs> you know, we always go to Cold Stone. So she thought since... Uh, we're always there, well, why don't we bring it to the house so we don't have to go out and get it? So uh, it was an innovative idea on her part and something that's pretty cool. This is going to be a mess. I already know this is going to happen. I can't, I can't see. I'm like, don't, don't you dare. No. I'm oh, stop. It's over. I didn't mean it. I'm really sorry. Days like today, just being able to get out and relax and spend a little time out on the lakes, time with friends, time with fiance, you know, it just kind of relaxes you a little bit. It takes your mind off the business, the pressure, the everything that's going to be coming on this next week. All right. We're going to take you out over here and get you up on board. We're going to do some flips. Underwater flips is what I do best. Yeah. <laughs> After your wrecking. Oh, okay. I, uh... I don't know how good I am. I don't... I've been out in a while, so I 
don't try to make excuses right off. Might as well. You're on the lake. You expect not to get wet? Oh, no. oh my lord. Is this one built for the fat boy? Oh, yeah. I tried getting too brave and I tried jumping the wake. The last time that put me in retirement mode was uh, jumping the wake and I was just like, that's it, I'm done, no more. Megan, you're sticking it down first. See, I had the right idea, you lied. That's crooked. Dude, where's my car? I don't know. What's mine say? You know, the, the 48 guys, I mean, you can't ever discount them. Hey, we need to start picking out some stuff for New York. Are we going shopping? No, I don't do shopping. Oh, thank you.